Well, let's get to some free agent signings because the Cubs finally made a move signing Shota Imanaga to four years, $53 million. This is, this was just something. Yeah. The Cubs needed to do something. something. Anything. So they get Imanaga four years, $53 million. Now there are uh, club options and the contract is, uh, again, contracts have been very creative this offseason. Yeah. The contract is, again, a very creative one. He could make upwards near $80 million when all is said and done, but that's if the options kick in and all of that stuff. But four years, $53 million. Cubs get a big piece for the rotation. Now, I am wearing a Shota Imanaga jersey. I've seen him pitch in person. I watched him pitch in the World Baseball Classic. Let me tell you a little bit about this guy. One, left-handed pitcher. Don't expect a guy throwing 100 miles an hour, uh, but the guy knows how to pitch. Mm -hmm. So I think if you're a Cubs fan, I personally think we're talking a, a middle of a rotation good arm. Okay. I don't think he's going to be like an ace of a staff over the course of his career in the big leagues, but I think he is going to be a very good and serviceable starter for the Cubs for now. Who knows where his career takes him? But, man, he gained a, a huge fan in me. Well, I am wearing his jersey, so you know I'm a huge it fan. <laughs> but even bigger at his Cubs press conference when he opened it up by – by chanting, hey, Chicago, what do you say? The Cubs are going to win today in English. Aww. Their chant, yeah. their song. It was so cool to see him. I, I'm a big fan. I loved watching him pitch in person. I heard a lot about him. I wanted to get his jersey. He's been dominant. The guy knows how to pitch. He's like an artist out on the mound. He can paint the corners. He's got good off-speed stuff. I'm excited to watch him pitch in the big leagues and uh, to see how he's going to do. But good for the Cubs. Finally making moves. Yeah. Their GM, Jed Hoyer, did come out and say, uh, if if we're talking terms of a nine-inning game, our offseason is currently in about inning four or five, okay. is what he said. So All right. They, they got a late start, <laughs> but apparently they're off and running now. A little bit of a late start, but they weren't just done with that one signing because then they went on and made a trade with the Dodgers. Yeah, this was this was a big this trade, a big and one. it doesn't have this big household name involved in it. But I, I do think it will. And there's a couple names in here that I think could be big household names. Uh, one, the Cubs get Michael Bush and Yancy Almonte from the Dodgers. Yeah. Michael Bush was the number two prospect for yeah. the Dodgers. And we've seen him in the big leagues. Um, but he's the big get here mm -hmm. for the Cubs. Michael Bush, who I believe is going to step in and, and be their starting third baseman this season. The Dodgers get Jackson Ferris, who is the Cubs' number eight prospect, and Zaheer Hope in the trade back. So the big get here yeah. is Michael Bush. I like him a lot. Left-handed hitter, has a lot of pop. I think he's the perfect fit for that Cubs lineup. I think, look, he just got squeezed out of the Dodgers organization. There's no space. Uh, he's a big prospect. Might as well flip him over. I think he's going to he's gonna get that chance he finally deserves for the Cubs, which what I mean by that is a chance to play yeah. every day. He's not getting that with, with the Dodgers and that organization. He was great in AAA. He was one of the best players in minor league baseball in AAA. But every time he come up, comes up to the big leagues, it's like, well, what? where are you going to play him? Yeah. You got Max Muncy over at third. Mookie's going to play second base this year. Yeah. Like, the infield's... The infield's Locked. spoken for. Yeah. So they flip him over, and the other big get in this trade is Jackson Ferris. Big-time pitcher, big-time velo for the Cubs in the minor leagues. Left-handed guy, big. is a perfect – if you go out and watch scouts talk baseball, all you end up hearing about is guys' bodies, right? It's all body type. Yeah, big He's guy. got the best body type you could <laughs> want as a pitcher. He's a big guy, left-handed pitcher, tall – Throws mid, uh, you know, mid 90s right now. He is the big piece here in return. So, not the huge household name, like I said, but Michael Bush is going to be in the starting lineup for the Cubs this year. Yeah. And Jackson Ferris is going to be in the minor leagues for the Dodgers, but uh, just stacking up that farm system. So, big trade. Cubby's making moves. I do like this. I like this for the Cubs and the immediate. In, in the here and now. I was going to say, who won this trade? Right. I, I think there's a chance that both teams could end up feeling good An about equally this. Equally good. I say trade. right now, I, I like what the Cubs did. Okay. Uh, specifically, look, prospects are suspects until they can prove it in the big leagues, right? Okay. So you you get a guy in Jackson Ferris that you feel really good about, but how good is he going to be? What what does his future hold? 
I don't know. So I like it because I like Michael Bush a lot, and I think that helps the Cubs a lot uh, this, this season. I really do. Thanks for watching. If you love flipping bats, swinging 3 0, or just talking ball, join us. Call us at 213 537 9339 with your questions. We have a weekly guest, and we have a lot of fun, so hit that subscribe button.